Welcome, my beautiful people. Unfortunately, Bob's not here today. He's outside. He's waiting for my son to come home. And there wasn't any way that he wanted to be in the videos today. You'll probably hear him later on barking. But today, we want to get messages from Archangel Sandalphon. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I have actually started a second channel here. Any of you that are interested in learning to use energy in order to move forwards, in order to clear your life, that, that is what this channel is all about. I have personally healed my life and that of my children to a great extent. And I have done it through energy work. And everything that worked for me, I will post on that new channel. So if you are interested, I will link it below. Go and have a check and see if this is something you would like to do. Now, let's go into our messages. Here we go. Welcome, group number one, a message from Archangel Sandalphon. All right, this message, it's all about perhaps an energetic contract sitting out there. We want to find out a little bit more about what this energetic contract is and how you can get rid of this thing. What is this all about? Okay, not only do you have Archangel Sandalphon, but this here is Archangel Metatron coming in and assuring you that this contract at the moment is being worked on, so it is being dissolved. Let's see this energetic contract. What else can you tell us about this contract here? Well, this contract here um, might have started when you were younger, perhaps in your teens or even younger. There's something that happened to you around that time that started to um, take a toll on your life. So there might have been issues when you were younger and you have perhaps suffered since then from these underlying issues. And the good news is Archangel Metatron is here to tell you that um, this is being worked on for you. Let's get some more information on that. Yes, once again, I see a younger angel appearing here. This is the Angel of Balance. Look, there's something that happened to you as a child and that needs to now be balanced because this is still sitting there in your life and has to do with an energetic contract. So this I'm seeing as a negative energetic contract because we also have positive ones out there. And whatever happened to you as a child is causing your anxiety as an adult. And this is where we want to give a helping hand. Archangel Sandalphon wants you to, to be able to move on from that. Let's get some more information for you here. All right. There is some um, energy coming from this next full moon. Going out in the full moon and asking the moon to take away this anxiety, working with moon energy, doing moon rituals, or simply just going out and sitting under the full moon and feeling as though you're handing your worries, your anxiety over to the moon to be dissolved. To What I'm hearing is to go back to where it came from because you don't want this. Whoever hurt you or whoever caused this 
send this back. It doesn't belong to you. It's almost like you got to take part of your heart and you got to hand it over and you're saying, this is it. I don't want this to sit there anymore. And then you need to heal. You need to finish this healing. So this is a little bit of a deeper reading here. And we're going to switch the cards now just to get some more information. So this is healing. By doing this um, moon ritual, you will also be working on this energetic contract. Some of you after this will find that you are feeling so much lighter. Look at that. You are definitely feeling so much lighter. You're ready to move forwards from this emotion here. And then you're ready to start something new in your life, perhaps a creative project of some kind. You are definitely ready to start this new new adventure but while this energy this anxiety is sitting there you you're sort of blocked in moving forwards with your with anything in life really it's not coming about the way you want it to it's not the fulfillment that you are looking for and it comes back to what happened to you as a child but after that look you might have worked on this already and there is just a minor little thing still sitting there and I also sometimes do have to do disconnections between very toxic energy in my life that sometimes resurfaces. Why does this happen? It happens because that person, they might be thinking about you and the more they think about you or may even have ill wishes against you, the more your energy feels it. Even if you're really protected, you're still sensing it and this is where you need to take action. With you, it's the moon. Working with the moon and the wheel of fortune now is coming in. This wheel is turning for you. This wheel is dissolving things because out of this card, I can tell you so much of what had perhaps happened to you in other lifetimes because I can see that you connect it with whoever upset you in in this life. You connect it with this kind of energy or person in past lives. You, it is written in your Akashic records and you had to become brave to move away from them, to expose them on a certain level, to alter your Akashic records in the sense of saying, I don't ever want to meet this person again. I am sending the last little residual energy that is sitting there. I'm giving it over to the universe, the moon here. I am asking for it to be taken away completely because in my future, it's a rewriting of your energetic contracts, of your Akashic records. And if you've ever had a past life healing with me, you know that's exactly what I do. I often go and rewrite certain parts of your Akashic records that spirit permits me to and you will then find changes. And that's the same, but you're doing it through your intentions, through, through basically saying, I've had enough here. And this might even mean that you physically leaving somebody and that's your next step. But it's important that you are aware that this anxiety comes from your childhood, comes from somebody who was toxic there, and it carries on. You might have wondered why you can't move on. You might be feeling lonely. You might be stuck in the hermit mode and you don't really want to, but you feel like, look, I'm, I'm not going out. I'm not going to have friends or I just want to be by myself because everything is um, working against me. That could simply be because you're still attached. This court connection is still there between you and a toxic person and doing this ritual once again can be very helpful in letting the universe know that you're now taking charge of your life yeah and I was wondering about the queen of swords that you're picking up that sword and you're cutting off this person 
this is what Archangel Sandalphon is making you aware of because if you are still suffering so deeply from this anxiety there might be residual energy of somebody toxic from your childhood and working with this moon energy that comes out so often I keep hearing the same thing moon energy yeah look if you don't believe it there's a magician this anxiety is now lying in it's all to do with contracts and court connections we often have different reasons why we experience anxiety and by all means if you are going to a doctor a counselor a psychiatrist for this keep on doing this this is not to replace any of your your conditions that might have been diagnosed through something different that happened to you but there is a big part of an anxiety here on a deeper level that can be gotten rid of through some magic through some rituals and you need to be persistent with this if you do it once yes it can have benefit but be persistent go each month when the full moon comes go and be under that moon and make sure that you feel like you're really handing your burdens over this this practice is also something that you should perhaps keep going with because you can then offer other things to the moon energy maybe once you've gotten rid of this anxiety you might want to manifest with the moon and talk to the moon about your next step about your next manifestations and work along with that you might already be very familiar with working with moon energy and if you're not you might want to do some research on moon cycles how to work with them what energy to let go of and during certain stages here of the moon cycles what energy to bring in it can be very very powerful now this this here is something that you should not wait with you should not think oh well I do it in a, in a few months no it should be done look at that justice it should be done fairly soon because the justice card is coming out wanting you to start clearing this energy because sometimes when we're connecting to another person or this other person connects to us the universe wants to bring karma to this particular person that might have hurt you and it'll be different I'm just talking generally how in my experience I've seen universal energy work and when you are still really attached to this person the universe finds it hard to bring the full impact of karma onto the person only because if the court is connected to you you will feel some of this but once you make a firm statement and once you're really determined that this is it this is when that court starts dissolving because you you've asked for it you are a powerful healer yourself even though you, you some of you might not know it but you are and your intentions your sayings your belief system and then working with this energy that can change that changes life so for you this is a very very important part and maybe this group maybe you want to check out my um, new channel and I've only uploaded a few videos but maybe you want to start the journey with me and see how you can use the energy to to clear your path there is there is definitely things out there that um, I feel in this group that are very connected to you that don't need to be there and you can get rid of them now let's keep on going let's see what else is there for you yes they're very happy with that like look at that you're having new beginnings after that we're talking about the happiness that is going to come in that will lead into something better look if you're worried about money you are uh, don't have to worry in the future because there's something that the queen of pentacles is saying here she's looking at this coin and she's going well what do I do with it what can I do with it but 
you are, will be given ideas from perhaps Archangel Sandalphon here because these messages are coming directly from him and I feel like he is um, putting his arm around your shoulder and saying don't worry so much it is okay that money will multiply or maybe you're waiting for money to come back that money will come back to you if you've lost it yes I can see that lots of lots of worry a battle in your mind here maybe this is in regards to finances so you don't have to because there is new things coming now look at that the world card there will be some new opportunities that are going to present themselves to you maybe you've put in for a new job and this job application here um, some of you might have put in for more. Some of them are good and some of them are not so good. And if you haven't put out any, maybe you need to put out more than one job application in order to get something new that you want because there is changes coming your way. And these, yeah, you can't fully see them yet, but you need to make a firm decision on it. Even if you're not sure what's coming in, but decide that maybe you're unemployed and you're going, this is it. I'm sick of this. I want to get out of this energy. I want to find a job. I'm going for it. And now you're coming towards this time in your life where you're thinking, well, can I do this? Should I do this? Well, the universe is definitely showing you that there's going to be these opportunities that they want you to take. And you got the backup angel here, Archangel Sandalphon, working with you today. But please believe in yourself. Believe that things in your life will change. There will be a turnaround. There is going to be new energy coming towards you because especially if you're working with the moon cycles you must be getting sick of me saying this now but i think maybe you have neglected this maybe you've heard this before and your spirit guides are going please listen to us please do this and this is to confirm that as well now the high priestess is coming out she has another message for you i feel it very very strongly what is your message what is your message the high priestess card has a message wow yes look even the high priestess here talking about the new beginnings that are coming that your cup will be overflowing so you've got the ace of wands here and you've got the ace of cups both of them indicating these new beginnings and don't run away from them i'm hearing don't run away <laughs> look yes look at that you need to work up to something and then you need to embrace it because you don't have to even think of doing it all at once and getting it all together at once but keep working on it because then this is the king of pentacles this is all about reaching a goal in your life and feeling very satisfied <laughs> look at that i think we're going to finish off on this happy note here happy family life yes you've got energetic contracts and you have things out there from your past but the more you work with magic the more you work with energy you can shift things around you it's not always a quick thing when you often listen to perhaps even youtube videos and you hear things like do this once and then your whole life will change you know all of a sudden somebody will knock on your door and there is a big bag of money <laughs> wouldn't that be nice but that does not mean that you cannot use magic to change your life I have seen powerful energy work. I've applied this work in my own life. And the changes, I, I would have never have imagined these changes coming in. And these weren't difficult, complicated things. These were things like working with the moon, learning a few more things about energy and how to move energy. But basically, the start of it was following my intuition once you show a desire for this and you follow that gut feeling and you take action towards your life you're saying to the universe 
I am here. I am ready for this. And yes, you are. You are here. You are ready for this. Archangel Sandalphon is by your side. Work with this Archangel for a little while. Call on him every single day. Thank him for being there and for making changes, even though you can't see them yet. All the best to you, group number one, and bye for now. Welcome, group number two. Messages from Archangel Sandalphon. What are these messages? Okay, there's lots of, at the moment. There is lots of transformation happening. Lots of energy is coming back again. Energy from the past. Are you having weird dreams at the moment? A lot of dreams. This is Archangel Sandalphon along with your spirit guides working to clear something from you. It's, it's like you have a lot of reflection maybe that's coming back. Has that happened to you lately? I'm seeing here in this card, this tells me that you are dreaming. You are having these dreams that are trying to heal you. They're not necessarily there to try and give you a message, but they're trying to heal you and your energy field is disturbed. It probably happens during the night when they're healing and you have these dreams and you might want to interpret them, but you can't because it's all to do with energy shifts. And you might also, some of you might also be thinking about, okay, um, you're having these reflections back to your past here in this life where you're thinking, why am I thinking about this person right now? Why, why do they even come into my mind? That's also because there is this healing taking place behind the scenes that you don't know about. Okay. This is so that your life can start taking on, um, better meaning, a happier way of living. This is for you, perhaps your children here, perhaps future children for some of you that are meant to be coming in. This clearing is important and this is just a reading to, to tell you not to worry about these weird things that are happening to you at the moment. Maybe you have had a healing done. And this healing is now slowly transforming the energy around you. So that is that is something that you perhaps need to know right now because you might not be feeling crash hot. You might have other symptoms that are happening. And yeah, yeah, look at that. You might feel like you're sort of drifting. You feel like you're drowning perhaps. You, um, you might even feel a bit lost, some of you. You might... Um, you might have other things going on, but these sort of energies that are coming out are all part of a healing that is going on. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. You're just crawling out of this cave. That's, this is what I'm sensing. And Archangel Sandalphon wants you to be aware of this, that no, you most likely do not need a doctor, but do not um, use this as medical treatment because if there is a medical issue, please see your doctor. But if you're just feeling these symptoms that are sort of out of the blue and very unusual, it's not something you have felt before, um, I'm here to tell you that this is only temporary energy adjustments. Wow. You can't get more confirmation than that. So let's let's switch the cards and see what happens perhaps after this energy field adjustment. What can you tell us about after Archangel Sandalphon? Yes, you will um you will most likely take a good look at your life afterwards. You will examine things. Some of you might already be at that stage where you're going all right, I need to just clear my house. I need to go and chuck things out. I need to go and um, smudge my place. I need to just really look into everything. And that, that is very, very good energy because you might have been made aware of this. Yeah, 
you will most likely throw a lot of things out. This is for some of you. You will go around and just go, I don't need this. You're only holding on to one want. All these others, you're looking at them and you're saying to yourself, well, they have caused me nothing but a headache. And I'm, I'm getting rid of this. this. This is no longer serving me. Maybe it's even people for you that you're thinking this way about. Then after you've done the clearing and you really looked at everything, then you're going to take off. The universe is bringing in new stuff. There's new stuff coming your way. So what is this? What is coming your way? Big changes for some. Some of you might even be moving. As soon as you've done this clearing, there might even be a physical move there for you. For others, then it might mean something different for you, but there is the energy of movement coming in. And I'm just going to ask, we have the Hermit card. I'm going to ask for another card with the Hermit card here. Okay, all right. Yes, I understand this now. There is, because of this healing, some of you might be put into the hermit mode, isolation, feeling maybe a little bit lost and alone, but don't worry, it'll, it'll pass. That won't last long because there's this new energy that wants to come towards you. Yes, they're asking you just to hang on. Hang in there for a little bit longer. Be that strong person that you know you are because it, there's certainly many, many changes coming your way. Oh, wow, look at that. For some of you, this is new friendships coming in. Maybe this is new romance even coming in. What is happening here? Wow, so these changes are clearing so much stuff, and you will, you don't miss an opportunity, though. Afterwards, you might even be missing things, because look, you're looking at the three cups down the bottom there and you're going, okay, um, it doesn't feel right. And the universe saying, yes, it's not right. Just turn your head. Just take that cup. And they're really pushing it. Like, look, here's another one. You forgot this one. So really pay attention to everything around you. Look for messages in just about anything because the universe wants to give you these signs, look, they're, they're going to give you this all about cups here, emotional healing. But the way I'm seeing is, is that the universe is going to keep offering you things. Look, there's something else there. And I feel like this word, just look, is coming in all the time. Look around. Look at this. Pay attention. So really, really pay attention to that because once you do, you will think to yourself, I never knew that the universe talked to me so much. You got Archangel Sandalphon here backing this up. Um, there is also a person that's really annoying in your energy. They're annoying me as soon as I look at it's the Emperor card, but I see a person that is that's just a nuisance. What what are we doing about this person here, universe? Because um, we're having this big clean up here. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure this person is not, yeah, block somebody. If somebody comes in that's annoying you, just block them. There needs to be like a firm stand, like, no, this is it. I'm clearing house and no, sorry, you're part of that. This is the sort of energy I'm feeling. You're really cleaning up, yes, because you've asked for good friendships. Then they're saying, here, yeah, Archangel Sandophon is saying, look, clear out the old get rid of the old because you've asked for new ones we don't like the old ones get rid of them so that now you can have these new people coming in if you keep holding on this is all about connections if you keep holding on to them you're going to pick up these burdens again you're going to carry them again and you don't need that it might be that um people sort of rely on you too much and you need to just say look I need space. I just need to relax here for a little while. And that's exactly what you need to be doing. And with this clearing energy, there, there's just going to be such freedom coming in, I'm feeling, such happiness. There's a big, big healing going, going on behind the scene. That's temperance coming to say, yes, there is this healing. You've got your guides. You've got your angels. You've got Archangel Sandalphon here. 
asking you to well, yeah don't miss the opportunities but only take the ones that really make you feel happy if you take other ones there there's some in there that are not so good so if something happens and somebody offers you something that might sound good on the surface it might just be that the surface dig deeper look for signs and there was just something was shaking outside this room here you, you might not have heard it maybe it is on the video but really shake things up really maybe shake up the person that is offering you this and saying well what strings are attached to this so that is what you need to be looking at because there is supposed to be pure energy new beginnings there is oh we have the king of oh wow that's really good we have the king of swords in reverse here meaning that soon in the future you can put that sword down you don't have to fight so hard it means also your thought patterns will will alter they will become more relaxed more peaceful and you'll be able to um, make decisions without the stress associated with it because often we can have so much stress and we keep adding to it by worrying even more yeah yeah that's what I was thinking by worrying all the time and you won't have that in the future especially um, this this energy around you now there will be big big changes the universe is not going to put up and maybe Archangel Sandalfon is now fighting for you and getting rid of any energy here that is still remaining in your life that is not supposed to be there because there's two people already leaving and if you're not doing it the your guides will cause something so that this is going to happen for you <laughs> yeah yeah the magician saying look we we're going to step in here if if you're not doing it something is going to happen that'll will shake everything up and this is going to happen because you deserve better you really deserve better and look your cups will be filled here you've got lots of them there you definitely are heading towards better times now i can't and look at that the bottom of the deck the bottom of the deck now we will be, finish with this card I think group number one also finished with the same card so congratulations you are heading into better times here start that clean up now and ask Archangel Sandalfon to give you a helping hand bye for now Welcome group number three, messages from Archangel Sandalfon. Okay, okay, there's anger, there's conflict, two people, this is about a breakup. Now these two people that I'm seeing here, they are unhappy with each other. They're not even looking at each other, they're sort of just staring into space look these two angels here this is talking about a breakup when i touch these cards all i see is a breakup what's happening are you have you been breaking up with somebody are you going to break up is it going to happen in the future are you at the right reading because <laughs> this is about a breakup so consider if this isn't you maybe you want to choose one of the other piles here one of the other options but um, this is all about a breakup. Archangel Sandalphon and Metatron. Wow, Archangel Sandalphon and Metatron are working always in conjunction or often in conjunction with one another. Archangel Metatron here connects you to your Christ grid or the grid up above. Archangel Sandalphon connects you to the earth grid or the grid down below. Now you've got these two angels coming in. So this, this is big. Whatever is happening here for you, this is big. This is not a, just a small issue that is being resolved. Um, yeah, wow, yes, look, look at that. Contracts. This to me says you have an energetic contract with the person. This might mean you're married to that person and by getting a divorce... 
you will break the contract. You don't need to do much else. You just need to sign the divorce papers and the energetic contract is going to be broken. Uh, some of you where this relationship may be a little bit more difficult and you're finding it hard to leave, maybe there is an energetic contract that you need to get rid of and you might need to seek out some help in removing this contract between you and that person so that you can move on. But oftentimes this also requires strength and if you can find the strength to leave somebody then this contract will be dissolved anyway. So this this is this is um information we're changing the cards here. This is information from Archangel Sandalfon to help you understand that this breakup is necessary. Yes, there is um there is sadness around you, but you're also being asked to tune in. Tuning in to your intuition, knowing the next step, because I hear you already know it, but you are afraid of it. This is maybe you asking Archangel Sandalfon to come and help you, to guide you through this. So let's see what else is going on. Love, yes, this is about love, but this I feel is about future love. Because once you have moved on from that person, there is new love out there for you. That new love might be coming in very, very quickly afterwards for some of you. But without um, this person around you anymore, or even you thinking so much about that person, you will find that your mindset will change as well. You might not feel um, their energy to that extent. I just feel like you two are so tangled up, and this card indicates that this, uh, I don't know whether you guys can see it, but there is sort of two people in the center here, and it feels like their energy is tangled up and they are aware of each other's energy fields constantly and you, you just can't seem to get away. Maybe you have a lot of fights here because you're always at each other in some way and it's because your energies are frustrated with each other. You just want to even move away. This is might be different for others, but... There is something, this whole thing that Archangel Sandalfon is talking about is all about a breakup, moving on. There needs to be a change. You need to be separated, the two of you, so that each one of you can do their own thing. I just feel like there, there needs to be a big separation. This card's here, this card's talking about the masculine, but all I'm seeing is that there's nobody, there's an emptiness in this card. To me, this indicates that you need space between the two of you. You can't even be near each other. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are, are doing, you know, whether you're having these big, big yelling matches or fights and maybe the neighbors are going, oh my God, they're, they're at it again or something is happening or maybe this is just an energy that it feels like you can't stand the person next to you here and you need to put that space there but look Archangel Sandalfon is agreeing with that your energies aren't a match that maybe one there is this partner of yours that might be very toxic or maybe they have changed over the years and become this toxic energy that is different for everybody but I do know that you need to put some big distance between the two of you here yeah look yeah <laughs> because look at that look at that this card is talking about the ego and it's like spreading their arms out here saying look really you need that space Maybe that's what you're feeling like, oh my God, I need space. I can't have them live in the same country as me. I need to be in a different country. This this is something that is encouraged. That is actually, yes, the new. There is new energy around you. There is supposed to be new friendships that are coming towards you. But while you're still with this person and you're clashing with this person, 
this new energy can't come in. The universe and Archangel Sandalphon here is helping you on that path, but basically this energy is just ready to come to you. It's just sitting there, but there needs to be some further action on this breakup here. Let's change the cards. Let's have a look and see what is out there for you. Wait, okay. It it also might be, okay, that's an interesting thing. This is not rushing into something. If you're quick to do something, if you're quick to say, look, I just want to get out. Um, I just want to have this finished with. I'm just going to sign any paper that I'm presented with and then I'm just going to run. Can you wait just a little while? Yes, you need to run. You need to go. But sometimes if you accept, their terms you might be missing out on things that are rightfully yours so there is a period of time where you might need to just hang in there and wait and see what they come up with instead of rushing it but the main thing is that you know that you are leaving yes look at that next card is time to move on it seems like there is something there and you need to just be patient, maybe even for a few days and then, bam, it's time to move. Maybe the universe, Archangel Sandalphon here are aligning something for you. Yes, look, they are. There's something being done except heaven's help. Maybe there is new people coming in and they want to give you a helping hand. Maybe something else opens for you and this will be the opportunity that you need to take and there is yeah uh, what you can do in the meantime is to think about the way you want to live maybe you want to simplify life a little bit now is your time to talk to the universe and to let the universe know that hang on i want this i want to live this way and dream about it think about it so that whatever you want to do this is going to be lined up for you in the future it might be difficult to do that right now because there is so many things going on but if you can choose a particular time of the day even to give yourself that space to dream that will help the universe to yeah look even asking you to set your sights higher here that will definitely help the universe to understand where you want to be heading and to this this girl here this mermaid she's jumping out and touching a star and maybe that is you you are touching that star and you want to reach higher ground that is important for you now let's keep going and see what else is there soulmate look there is a soulmate relationship coming towards you this is for sure this is happening guys so there is somebody new out there you don't have to do this alone if you're thinking well this is probably my last chance here. I'm with this person. Should I stay with them? No, no, there's a breakup happening here. You're not supposed to, and I don't think you will be. And there is a new soulmate waiting for this group because it's very, it's been very lonely. Even within this relationship for you, I feel the emptiness here. You've been trying to sort of relax, but there is an emptiness about the whole thing. And the universe does not want you to be empty. Archangel Sandalphon is come down here to, to be with you and also to ground you again, to anchor you in this planet so that you can enjoy your life again and do the things that feel right to you. Can you set some positive intentions? Morning affirmations is coming out maybe that's exactly what you need to be doing having these morning positive affirmations to help you along your journey to help you along this path because in the future you are going to discover more things about yourself and if you be if you can be patient there's also an increase in money coming towards you maybe you're waiting on a settlement and you're not quite sure whether you're going to win this thing but 
if you do hang in you will win this thing this this is assured for you so they want to talk to you a little bit more as well so what else is there you will soon then be on your way the page of wands you will start your life again you will start fresh you will find your way this time and and perhaps not have to compromise yeah the world is going to open up for you so you guys you know where you're heading what's happening here this is all about a breakup but better times ahead pay attention to the signs around you and have that bit of patience and once that whatever you're waiting for once it's done pack up go leave that all behind or at least if you're already gone and you're separate uh, you're separated here you might just be waiting for the divorce to be finalized that's your time when you can really celebrate because now you are completely free sending you lots of love from australia bye for now welcome group number four messages from archangel sandalphon okay we're all about exploring new territory this is going on an adventure for you something about adventure something about um just exploring some some of you might even be going on a camping trip here and this is something important that you need to be doing what else is there new territory adventures okay there is um th this i'm going to get some more cards very interesting energy as though you're going to be with somebody again you're going to heal a wound archangel sandalphon is coming in and saying this is all about healing a wound in this lifetime this maybe you're going on to an adventure and you're going to meet this person they're going to come closer again to you maybe you're going on a camping trip with this person and there is going to be something that is going to be spoken about or discussed in a way that will just open your heart for this person because there's going to be bigger understandings let's see what else archangel sandalphon yeah wow you are definitely having this this new territory adventure and you're reconnecting with somebody perhaps this is a past life but for a lot of you i feel like this is a person for this life that maybe you've had a falling out with and now you're getting back together perhaps you deciding hey look we need to go on a holiday together and then you really talk it out and some uh, something is going to be revealed and that's going to make you fall in love again because there is something in in the past that just feels wrong it just feels like there were lies it's almost like that the two of you have been separated because of lies and it, both parties here i'm seeing are uh, you believing these lies and now you ended up hating each other because of these lies but that's all they were lies none of that was actually true because this is talking about banishing the demons and to me it's speaking about somebody perhaps spreading these lies or making you seem a certain way i can relate to this situation i so i was married to a um covert narcissist and he was very very good at separating the whole family spreading lies to each one of us and making us believe different stories about what was actually happening and they were so cleverly designed that all of us found ourselves living basically in fear and terror but none of us spoke with each other it was in insane when i think back to it all and how clever that was this might be something similar maybe it wasn't on such a deep dark level that i've experienced but 
you have got something you need to discover with this person and you will if this is, hasn't already happened there needs to be this heavy heavy discussion i'm hearing for you yeah activating the divine masculine what this shows me along with the other card here is that you've both been thinking about each other now just because this shows up as male and female it doesn't have to be male and female it just might be the energy it could be anybody that this is talking about because you two are starting to reconnect energetically and that means that the universe and archangel sandalphon here wants to clear this he wants you to experience the truth about what has happened in the past and he wants you to connect again hope look at that this is all about hope and it's because somebody here, whether you or the other person or perhaps both, have not given up on hope. You lived with that concept of hope and that kept you going up until the day that you will reconnect, you will meet again. Claim your power, bring it back. You need, this is, this goes in harmony with these lies that I was thinking about or hearing about these lies have taken your power so you've been made to appear weak or you've been made to appear as in a certain way that is not right and now this needs to change you need to come back to your power you need to be seen the way that you actually are or perhaps this is the other person as well be open things change wow wow you ought to let me know how this resonates because be open things change is is very important for wow look at these cards fulfillment is possible there's big big changes coming your way there is a possibility of this reunion here look at that assistance is at hand yes you have assistance you have your spirit guides. You've got Archangel Sandalphon that is coming in and wants to work with you and take his hand during this time. Yes, he's become the unexpected mentor. This is the right time for both of these energy, for you and this other person to, to come together, to recognize and realize something. And you're being assisted in every single way that is possible here yes you you had to i can see you had to walk away from this person at one stage it was just necessary for you to do that you couldn't have remained there but this person has changed yes bear your burdens with love this person is now reaching out maybe it was a child of yours that is uh, has left maybe it is somebody else maybe it is just that you had to protect a child here but it wasn't if there was these lies i wish i knew more about this situation here so i could dig deeper into it but there's so many different ones here listening to that so it's it's a little bit difficult to understand fully who this child is and how it fits in your particular um, situation. But this might mean something to you. Listen to the truth I'm hearing. Listen to the truth because the truth will set you free in this case. The truth will set you free. It will help you understand divine magic yes your spirit guides are going to keep talking to you about that you might even be getting other messages saying look this is going to happen you might already feel that this will happen as well because i feel like that the other person maybe they were involved with very toxic people maybe those people spread rumors about you and then you had to leave or they left you and they're still believing the other person but now they're 
they've moved on from those people and that or that other person that was with them and now they're realizing that everything is different it wasn't the way it appeared to be stay optimistic please if this hasn't happened in your life yet please stay optimistic because this will happen there will be a change so for you guys look i don't feel any more cards here but know that this person is going to come back again the universe wants a reunion they want truth to be revealed this truth is important for you to know about so that the both of you can move on and maybe even expose a third or a fourth party here that was part of this whole this mess that i'm seeing in front of me here and it's time for this to be cleared and archangel sandalphon is there to guide and help you all the best group number four and bye for now